Um, where you take your chances from left to right. Okay, do you want to be Nathan? <laughs> I'm headed right to left. I'm Danny. I'm Phil. I'm Matt. I'm Rob. <laughs> You've been working hard on a new EP, everything is terrible. When you're planning on releasing the EP, and what can we expect to hear from it? Music. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's, it's going to be what? March. March. Yeah, March. Yeah, yeah. March. Yeah. Yeah. March. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're 24 dropping for it March. 24th of March. Yeah. Along with a music video as well. So yeah. We're uh, really organised, aren't we? <laughs> on the 24th of March. Yeah. Something along them lines, yeah. yeah. Where people go be able to buy it from? Um, Anywhere and everywhere. Yeah, we're try and get. We're gonna try and get it on pretty much as many platforms as possible. Uh, iTunes, Spotify, uh, Sound. Even get it on SoundCloud. They can have it for free for all week. Uh, we just want to get it out there. We really yeah. want people to yeah. hear our music. That's, that's, been that's, like, that's the reason we do it. It's right, been right? a long time in the waiting. Yeah, yeah, to just get to get this one out. So. What's the writing process like for you guys? Where do you draw your influence? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get our influences from? I, I, I think. Yeah, I, 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 tend, I tend to be a hermit and I lock myself away in my bedroom. I write a ton of songs and I come to band practice and I'm like, guys, I wrote these songs. And then um, we basically just go around from there, don't we? Yeah. We have like a little kind of basis of what the, we want the song to sound like and then we all put our parts into well, it. In other words, me yeah. and Danny sit on the couch for like an hour. Until we get a beat right. <laughs> and stuff, yeah. 95% of the time though, Phil will come to us with a a song and it will never turn out the way he's, no. No. he's played it. It will turn out completely different. Yeah. It's like, um, what was it, uh, If I Was Older, mm-hmm. um, which was is coming out on music video by the way, so keep, uh, keep an Actually, eye out. Actually, If I Was Older is already out. Yeah, but not the music no, but video. When, music it, when he came, out. no it wasn't, because I came in and changed it, didn't I? I changed the intro and all that. Right, so, yeah. yeah. So it never, they never turn out the way Phil wants them to, but it's top, isn't it? <laughs> it was the divas in the band then. <laughs> <laughs> Actually no, I give Danny a bit of that one as yeah, well. Yeah, Danny, Danny. Me and Matt, me and Matt, just me and Matt, just constantly we're, arguing. We're, we're, yeah, we're, we're like, we like to think that we're better than each other, <laughs> even though we both suck. But <laughs> some ways more. Oh, that was so pop Some punk people of more you. than others. <laughs> that was Have you so got any good diva stories? Uh, oh, well, yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> we've got a few. We've got Too a few. many. How long have you got? <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Um, What's the best one? Probably know. last night. <laughs> last night. Well, oh yeah. Last night. Yeah. Right. So we've got uh, right. We've got asked to do this. Um, this, like, it's essentially it's just a free show. It was for um, a bar up in Bolton where like where we live, and um, uh, so we've so we've gone down to uh, so we've all dis- all decided between us they had two dates either for the third or the seventeenth we chose the seventeenth between us it was all agreed right fine last night he decided to tell us that he couldn't do it so us four have then said right well we might as well still do it it's not like we're getting we're not getting anything out of it no one's paying to come and watch us it's more like a like an open mic night type thing. A free drink band yeah, practice. It, it is, yeah, it is. <laughs> like, like, we go up, we play, and then we get a free bar for the night. It's great. <coughs> um, he's going to drum. He's going to try and play bass. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, to be fair, you have a good bass face, you should do it. <laughs> Was that on the bass face? That <laughs> no, the bass no, face. So. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's nowhere near as good as your drum face. Um, Gum face? <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah um so because we said what we we're still gonna do it anyway because and he was gonna drum he threw his toys out <laughs> but he threw his toys out because i said to him well considering we're all gonna play and you're not there's no point you coming to the next practice because he needs to brush up on his dr- on drumming so that's where he like started losing his temper, but he aimed all of the temper that he was losing at me, <clears throat> and some of the things that he was saying were, oh, well, they were pretty horrible. Very, very hot, very hurtful. I know. Yeah, we, <laughs> we all just sat there keeping the an eye on the messages, and it was like, <laughs> actually, <laughs> the anger's built up yeah. from time to time. I think we need to hear some of these comments. So many memes so got them. sent. Oh. <laughs> See, me, Rob and Phil weren't asked because we were waiting for the Super Bowl to start. So like, yeah, shut up. Come on. Right. Oh, no, the, the, the the thing, yeah, well, that, that's the thing that really annoyed me more than anything, the fact that it was just me arguing. I think I think one of the things <laughs> I can remember you saying was you've become an egotistical twat bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
best like, gig you've ever played? Where, when, and why? Oh, oh, that's a, that is. I think factory what? ones are like generally our best ones because the sound tech's the best and mm-hmm. it makes us sound better. The second factory was we could great. actually just hear. being asked for an encore that was something that was else. crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I our, fir- our first proper more. encore, yeah. People actually screaming. I think oh, that yeah, was the sound encore. tech wanted it as well. I think that was the first time that like because we just released um, if I was older the single and um, it was the first time that like I couldn't hear myself because the crowd sung it back to us and that was like that was a pretty cool yeah, thing to hear. That was surreal. Yeah. 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 Like, uh, cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. Only because his cat woke me up last night. And it's not him. my cat. It's not my fucking cat. It's your girlfriend's cat. Uh, I'm yeah, my fucking cat. I, I've always had a theory that you never truly own a cat. A cat exactly. Will do. Yeah. No, a cat, a cat will come like and a go. It feels like it. Mine's it's like a teenager. Why, why, why are you comparing? Because it, all it does is shit in your house, eat your food, and sleep. Fair enough. My theory described it perfectly though. A dog will save you from a house fire. A cat will be the one laughing, <laughs> holding the fucking match. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, we all like dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Dog yeah. Well, at, at least we know what our tour pet's gonna be. A dog. Call no, it. I, 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 no. I, you, I want a chinchilla. Really? Sloth. Yeah. That's, I want that's a sloth. That's not a dog. <laughs> I know it's not. I want a chinchilla. We're talking about dogs. I want a chinchilla. Quick fire, left to right. Last one you listen to. Uh oh. Not in the car journey. Not in the car journey. King Blues. What's it? Um, Bullingdon Boys. Ali Mers wrapped up. <coughs> uh, what was mine? Song. Mine was Leaving in the Morning by Artist vs. Poet. Good song. Um, last one I listened to myself was um, As It Is. Um, of course. Dial Tones, is. actually. Uh, last one I listened to was uh, The Stage by Van Schoenfeld. Wasn't it Dial Brilliant. Tones that we got our name Yeah, from? yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you also made me learn it as part of an audition for some bizarre reason, because oh, Danny loved it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we tied your mum's hands behind the back and then poured petrol on them and put a match in the mouth, who would kill the first mum? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> right. what made you think of that question, my boy? <laughs> wow, right, just one second, can we repeat that question? <laughs> well, like yeah, you get all your mums in a room yeah. and tie their hands behind the back, Right. And cover them in petrol, and put a non-safety match in the mouth, yeah. and make them fight to the death. Who's the last one good standing? Look, good oh, mine! Ma- mine! Are you kidding? Mate, have you met my mum? Mate, my mum's a cop! A fair point. FGC! FGC! A cop that's well averse to having hands towed by a bank covered in petrol and set someone else on Look, fire. she went down to London for the riots. <laughs> She had petrol bombs thrown at her. <laughs> she, she, she's well, well rehearsed with it being You realise my mum's going to kick off with you now for sticking up for what, her? What, Mrs, <laughs> Mrs. Bobby Bondage? Going you know what, <laughs> when this video actually goes live, Look it's probably going to be about 30 seconds. <laughs> 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 It'll just be that first section. Hi, I'm Phil. I'm Rob. I'm Danny. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm Frank I'm Gallagher. I'm 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 hiding I'm in the corner. <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> Oh, I've got lots of thing. questions. Boobs or ass? Ass. Oh, uh, uh, no. Uh, ass, definitely. Ass. Yeah, I'd say ass. Yeah, I, I, I'd I agree don't, with you. I, I'm, not, I'm not a massive fan of girls with massive boobs. And I'd say any more than a handful is too much. <laughs> any more than a handful is a waste. Yeah, it is. I mean, no, because you don't know. There's just never a comment that's not uneditable. <laughs> 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 no, because generally girls with big boobs always end up with back problems. On a serious note, if you've got big boobs, have them removed because you'll have back <laughs> get, problems. Get them walked off. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, don't do drugs, we're, we're stay booking... in school, study belts aren't cool anymore, and just get your boobs removed. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're booking Robin next week to get rid of it. Wrap it up. Wrap it up? Wrap it up. Plug your show and tell them where they should come. <laughs> yeah, we'll sell the day. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> Ra- Ra- wrap it up and tell them where to come. Well, hopefully, come where it's been wrapped. <laughs> Preferably inside it. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to kill me. Right, we'll cut, cut that bit out as well. I'll let it start again. <laughs> so, the show is on the 24th of March at Factory 251 in Manchester. You should get down purely for the fact that there's going to be some. If you like your pop punk, and come down because, well, we've got Phil, who's got a really high-pitched voice, which is the essence of pop punk. We are Take Your Chances, and this is If I Was Older.
<laughs> oh. Slay from that. Oh, <laughs> you drive your Hoover. <laughs>